Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Welcome to Mixar64, Lego and more if you are new. And of course, if you're new, smash that subscribe button. Um, but let's get straight into this awesome build. I'm super duper excited to share this one uh, with you guys. This is my train station home. Let's get straight into the video. Here we go. The piece count for this uh, was pretty crazy. This has over 1,500 pieces in it. But yeah, it's a really decent sized build and I'm very excited about it. So let's head straight into the video. So guys, to start out, along the front here we have a nice looking train track. Um, and then some nice green terrain just to really bring the build alive. Moving up, we have this very nice looking veranda of the home. Um, I was very happy with this build uh, because you can see it's it's not simple, it is on a slope um, and it's actually only connected by two studs, this veranda, but yeah, I was really happy with the final result of this, it looks very nice, um, but yeah. And then guys, of course, we can't forget the little dog out the front here with his yellow ball, just to give the build that little bit more of excitement out the front of the building. Now having a look at the exterior of the home, um, this this side is pretty plain, just a few windows there. All the windows do have this this little uh, cover over them, but um, yeah, coming around the back you can see a small window on the left, the kitchen windows in the centre there, and then the back door. We'll have a closer look at the roof in a minute, um, and then this side the final side, um, yeah, with a few more windows there. So the exterior is pretty plain, but um, yeah. Now having a closer look at the roof of the building, um, yeah, basically what I've done is I've just used simple plates uh, along the roof and then every second stud along I've put a line of tiles, as you can see, and that kind of creates the corrugated iron, um, yeah, that the look I wanted um, and then on the left up the back here we've got a solar hot water system now what I've actually done for the roof design is these whole panels just come off and they're actually just sitting sitting there they're actually not attached so now what I've done with the interior here is because there is this elevated level um, on the left here I've actually designed it so this top bit comes kind of off like that and then this whole entire level pops off just like so. So this is separate and then you can get a much closer look um, into the uh, ground floor of the building. Now guys before we just get into the, the close-ups of the interior you can see there is a nice big ceiling fan hanging from the the roof so I want to include that just to kind of take up the space and just that extra little bit of detail. Here is the kitchen for the train station home. So it's a pretty basic kitchen. Um, just a kind of L-shaped bench um, and then yeah I just used tan tiles as the bench there um, and yeah you've got a nice little coffee mug there had to include that um, a plant and behind the lady here you can see there is a nice little sink back there um, and a stove there is also a fridge there um, that I included and also some overhead cupboards at the top there. Here is the small dining area. So here I used um, kind of some bench type looking things um, and a kind of simple table there. Now 
the benches I did try and uh, kind of create like the real home um, that I uh, tried to base this model off of. These benches kind of represent a train station kind of feel. So they are long and then you've got the long table um, there as well. Here's a bit of a better look at that um, dining area. Simple table, kind of simple benches. But yeah, looks really nice and I'm very happy with that. So this area here is the living area, family room space. Then guys, over here is the couch. Um, bit of a better look at that. Um, and then you've got a kind of teenager it looks like on there with his gaming um, controller. Uh, yeah, and this couch design I was very happy with too. Um, yeah, I love the look of this. I'll just take him off so you can get a better look. The back is angled a little bit, um, and then the kind of the arms of the couch, yeah, got a nice curve on them as well. So yeah, this this area kind of of the house I was very happy with. This is the bedroom part of the home. Still I'm better with than without you oh, I, I'm on it, I want it Now this is the master bedroom, I guess you would say, for the home. Now it is open, um, kind of, to the rest of the house. But yeah, I really love the look of this area um, as well. The lights, um, super simple design, these are just three simple pieces and then uh, we've got a nice plant um, on the right side there uh, and also maybe a small uh, kind of chest or something at the end of the bed just for a bit more storage um, guys and then um, over this side we have the bathroom so the bathroom is located under the second level um, in this small space now I did have to get a high angle for this one but yeah the door over here um, and then leads into the bathroom now this is the only non bit of Lego in the whole entire uh, home. It is a shower screen uh, made out of paper that's just folded um, but yeah that's just simply because I didn't have a piece or yeah couldn't find anything to really work like I wanted but yeah um, you can probably just see the toilet down uh, the left there very simple design and then um, this sink design. So here's that sink um, this is such a simple simple design but I love the look um, of this and especially in this kind of setting it just works so perfectly because it's so small um, but yeah it really looks like a sink with the round bowl and yeah fits so well. So that's it for the bottom floor, um, the main floor of the house. It's got a lot going on in this small space but yeah I really love everything about this, um, it came out very well. And here is the second level. So here is the uh, top level to the home and it just gives that little bit more space and storage uh, for the house and I love the look of this and how it turned out. The steps go up through the middle and they look pretty nice. Yeah, not much going on up here. Um, just remove this pole. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, a nice bed up here. Yeah, um, nice little bed and that's basically it. But I really do like the look of the stairs and the, the railing up here. It really gives a nice touch. Well guys, that is it for this one. Hope you enjoyed the video. I definitely enjoyed building this project and it was quite a challenge to get each little detail as close as possible to the real building. But uh, 
Overall, it was a really great and fun build for me. Um, but drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. And also follow me over on Instagram at Mixar64Lego to see more of what I do. Um, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.